Hi trainers, I'm Frosty Caribou, a Pokemon player and collector. If you enjoy doing Pokemon openings as much as I do, you probably have built up quite the collection. You might also have too many access cards or bulk as well. But don't worry, I have just the app for you. It's called TCG Bulk, and it lets you find the best stores near your location to safely sell your bulk. I've already made a tutorial to help you start using the app, but today I'm going to show you how to pack your cards up safely. Stores made by sorted or unsorted bulk. But sorted bulk is more popular and usually sells at higher rates, so I recommend organizing your cards before selling them. As you probably know, Pokemon cards are sorted by rarity. From common cards to secret rare, you can find the rarity of the cards on their bottom left hand corner. Divide your cards, separate your energies, make a pile for your commons and uncommons, and a pile for your rare cards. The rarer your cards, the more they're worth. They can be sold in different categories as well. Check in the app to see what cards stores near you are searching for right now. For example, a store near me wants both V and VMAX cards, so I'm going to start getting them ready. Now that your cards are organized, you have to count the cards you're going to sell and start packing them. When counting your cards, it's easier if you make piles of 10 and then start piling them in stacks of 100. As you count your cards, you can start packaging them up. The trick to shipping bulk safely is packing the cards tightly. If you have bubble wrap, you can use a layer to pad the box before you pack your cards. Just assure there is no space for your cards to shift around during the shipment. Use newspaper, recycled paper, or bubble wrap to fill in any empty spaces within your containers. If you're sending different bulk categories in the same package, you need to separate them. But that's easy. You can use cardboard to create divisions between the different types of cards. For shipping, you can use TCG storage boxes or old sturdy boxes you might already have at home. You can send your bulk through whichever shipping company you decide and use their boxes, or you could use one of the most cost-effective methods, which would be USPS flat rate boxes. You'll need to give the store a tracking number through the app, but you can also help them by labeling your package. Include your full name and order number on the outside of your package so that they can identify you and easily update the process once they check over all of your cards. Now you have to seal your box. Use packing tape generously to make sure the box is safely sealed. Don't forget to reinforce the box's edges and corners with your packing tape because you want to prevent the seams from opening. Once your cards are safely packed, you're ready to ship them. Choose whichever delivery company you prefer and drop your package off or arrange a pickup. You want to make sure the bulk is packed in optimal conditions because stores won't accept anything less than near mint cards. Near mint cards are cards without any evident damage. Once the store receives and approves your shipment, you will receive your money. I hope that selling your TCG bulk allows you to reinvest that hard earned money back into your prize collection or other things that you might love. Either way, it's going to clear up tons of space for you, giving you more options to expand your collection whichever way you want. Which, in my case, might include some more Pokemon plushies. <laughs> Good luck!